Hey everyone, so in this video today, we are going to talk about camera bags. One, maybe two, but basically this one that I've been using that I've been very happy with. And I know uh, as a photographer, it can always be very helpful when you're looking into this kind of stuff. Obviously it's an important piece of kit, but hearing from other photographers about what they're using, how it fits their specific gear and how they have everything laid out, it's always really helpful. So that's what I wanna do today in this video. Talk about the specific brand and model that I've been using, why I've been so happy with it, and just show you how I have both my large format and medium format gear laid out. So I have a few bags that I use for all of my gear, two backpacks, then one shoulder bag, but really wanna focus on uh, this backpack that's kind of become my go-to over the last six months. Uh, this is by a company called Companion. Full disclosure, they did send me this bag and another one, which I'm gonna show you a little later in this video, uh, about six months ago, just for me to test out, see how I like them. And it just so happens that I ended up really loving this bag and it's become my kind of main one that I use all the time. So very happy to talk about it in this video today. And just wanna show you, like I said, my setup and talk about why this has worked so well for the type of gear that I use for most of my photography. So Companion is a company that's based out of Germany and they make a bunch of uh, really high quality bags and accessories. And this one in particular that I'm using is called the Element. The Element I would say is really geared more towards like outdoor hiking use, which is what a lot of my work is. So it's been a great fit. Uh, I'm not gonna go into like specifics and details about materials used and stuff like that. Uh, I'll put a link below if you wanna jump on their website, you can read up about all that stuff. But what I will say is just like the quality and the craftsmanship of these bags and materials I use, really high end. Uh, but when it comes to the exterior, so uh, fully waterproof, which is important for me, especially as someone who lives in England. Uh, and then it has just everything you would kind of expect on a bag like this. So it has a pullout rain cover on the bottom and then all sorts of pouches and zips, things like that. I'll usually keep like an emergency kit in the front here with some food. And then there's just all sorts of straps, places for things. So I'll put my tripod on the side, put the legs in here and then use this top strap to hold the tripod in. Also has a bunch of areas on this side as well. And even there's like these nice little sneaky pockets here on the sides that I didn't even know about until uh, a couple days ago. So those are kind of cool as well. And then probably my favorite feature, and it's on both of these backpacks, is just this roll top. And this is really cool. It has on this bag, it's this magnetic catch. And then it just unrolls. And it reminds me actually of like a dry bag if you're into camping. It's pretty much exactly what it is, but it gives you this nice space to store like, uh, say clothes or anything important that you don't want to get wet. And then just snaps back on. And then you can obviously extend this strap as well. So sometimes I'll loosen that off and then I'll put things on the outside, just strap them down here that I want quick access to. So for instance, for example, I have uh, this four by five holder. This is by F64. Sometimes I'll put this on the exterior and strap it down or I'll put uh, my coat, things like that. Anything I want quick access to basically. But overall, just really nice. You know, it's the cool thing is, is obviously it's not the smallest bag, but I feel like Companion has done uh, a really good job balancing like the amount of uh, like pockets and capability that this bag has. And obviously once you see the inside, how much it can hold uh, just with like the overall size and the weight, like it still looks good, it's stylish and it's not uh, massive and bulky and kind of oversized. So been very happy with that. And then one of the most important things for me uh, for the work that I do is just this uh, back strap system. So this is like their ergo system, has really nice waist belt and then shoulder straps as well. And then a nice padded back. And for me, uh, if you watched one of my uh, recent videos where I went to Snowdonia a couple months ago, uh, this is the bag I brought. I was putting on a lot of miles over a couple days, uh, elevation over uneven terrain, really long days with a four by five kit. Uh, and also a drone and some video gear. It was never like fatigued or sore at the end of the day. It actually kind of reminded me of some of my backpacking gear. So that's really what sold me on this. Just the fact that it can hold all of my kit, but it also just feels very good and is comfortable, which is important when you're out and about. We'll open up the bag. I'll show you the inside now. But as you can see, and as you would expect, just your typical like padded divider system in here. Uh, but 
just a lot of space for everything you would need. So right now I have my four x five camera uh, sitting here. And then I have both of my four x five lenses, light meter, filters, loop, even have some video gear in here. So I have a Fuji lens and one of my mics. And then there's this laptop pocket up here, but I actually end up using this a lot of the time for my uh, dark cloth or changing bag. Sometimes I'll put the changing bag in one of those side pockets. Uh, and then sometimes as well, I'll put my film holders in here. Although I have been, like I said, using that F64 bag, which has been very nice, just using it on the outside. So as you can see, all sorts of room for everything you would need. And then has kind of these like zips that you would expect. These actually, you can pull them off and organize them. They're just Velcro. Uh, but very happy with it. You know, for me, someone who's like dual purpose doing video and photo at the same time, if you aren't doing that, you're just doing photo, you're gonna have even more space. So for me, fitting four by five and video in the same bag, uh, I'm sure that this is gonna fit most people's setups. And then when it comes to medium format, uh, what I'll do, obviously when you take the large format camera out, you're gonna have even more space. So I can fit the Pentax 6.7, which is my go-to in here, as well as a couple lenses. But what's kind of most important and what's really nice is the fact that this bag is deep enough that when I put the Pentax in, uh, it, I can close the back of the bag and it's not putting uh, extra pressure on the prism of the camera, which is really important. But we will take a look at the second bag quickly, as mentioned, their Backpack 2.0. Let me just get this one out of the way. So this is the Backpack 2.0. Like I said, I haven't been using this bag uh, as much as the Element. And that's because uh, this one I really feel like is suited more for like day trips into like cities and towns. That's what I've been using it for. You know, it's a little more stylish, a little more sleek. Doesn't look like you're going on an outdoor adventure. It's actually a very nice looking bag. So it's canvas uh, and leather. You know, obviously it doesn't have as like beefy of a support system on the back like the Element does. It's still very comfortable and you can buy, I think you can buy a waist strap for this one, uh, but it's something, you know, if you're gonna spend your time hiking, the Element would be a better buy, but still very nice. A lot of similarities with the Element. You know, it has this roll top, the buckle's a little different, but same idea with that. Not as many pockets and things on the outside, uh, but obviously uh, for what you would be using this for, you don't really need as many um, extra compartments and stuff like that. I think right now I have uh, Pentax 6.7 in here. So I'll show you that. I won't go into too much detail about the inside because really the setup is gonna be very similar uh, to the Element. So when I set this up for large format, same idea, you know, I configure uh, some of these dividers and I lay it out the exact same way. But you can see I have a Pentax 6x7 in here right now and it just fits great. You know, I have an extra lens and a few accessories, nothing crazy, but a lot of similarities on the inside. Just overall, like this bag is very nice. The construction and quality of it, the leather, the canvas. And uh, certainly if I was someone who wasn't uh, doing a lot of work in the outdoors, this would be my pick. So overall, been very happy with both these bags. Would highly recommend them to anyone out there who's looking for a new setup. If you're a backpack person for photography, you know, the cool thing about Companion, obviously these aren't the cheapest bags out there, but I always love when there's companies like this who are making products that are uh, functional and also really high quality. And you know that when you buy them, they're gonna work and then they're also just going to last. And that's really important for me because uh, like I said, I'm not the easiest on my gear and I also just want it to work and I want it to last like more than a year or two. And I feel like both of these bags uh, are definitely going to stand the test of time. Just based off of how they performed over these last six months. So super happy with them. Like I said, I'll put links below. Check them out if you're interested. And other than that, just wanna say I hope this helped. Thank you for watching as always. And if you're new here, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, like, all that kind of stuff. If you did, that would be great. And yeah, I'll see you soon.